What up, and welcome back to another video. So I'm starting this one out back at the crib. Uh, I just got a package from my boy Andre uh, at Triple Style. Um, he is the owner and creator of it, and he designed this livery for the Miata. Um, I kind of give him my ideas, colors, and uh, I give him a good base to start with, and he cooked this up for me. Uh, I got some chrome, some special spice up in there uh, that I'll put on after, but let me show you real quick. So you guys know what I got in the livery, right? But the first thing to do with the livery is cut it out. This is like the driver's side and the passenger side of the hood. It needs to be cut out and then placed onto where I'm gonna put it. Same with all these pieces. This is like the driver's side, passenger side, driver's side and passenger side, as well as here, I gotta cut it out because this is for the hood. And then this is for like the side skirts and then like the, the side area. So let's get to cutting. So After you cut them out, you always want to label them just so you know what you're working with. Um, this is just like the main logo on the passenger side and the little, or driver, passenger, driver, passenger. Um, but yeah, go through, label them. So I had a customer come by and I got a little carried and I just cut it all out. They're all labeled. Um, it's honestly pretty simple. It doesn't look like much, but it's going to be covering the whole car. So. Let's get the Miata in here and get it prepped and let's start wrapping this thing. I got the car in, I wiped it down, whole car's been wiped. Um, now I'm basically gonna just put up panel by panel. Probably gonna start with the hood and uh, just do those really quick. You guys will see how it is. But uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, these are the first two panels I'm starting with. So it's just two little hood stripes have this one set up super simple to install pull this one side pull the backing paper and squeegee this and you just pull the backing paper and squeegee down super simple make a few cuts done. so after you squeegee it you just go through really slow peel off this backing paper we call this cut vinyl, but you just peel off this paper pretty slowly, check for air bubbles as you go, and just pull slowly. <laughs> so now go through, cut up excess here, or just cut off a little bit. Tuck it down, go through and heat it with a heat gun. Make sure the edges stay and you're set. I do have hood latches though. So I'm gonna just heat this up, cut around it, lay it back down here, cut around the edges and then lay this back in. Cut it out, everything's laid down good. On to the next. So, got it all done real quick. Got this side put up. I'm basically looking at a proof of my car. Basically just a picture that has a design up there. And I'm basically just putting it up. Matching up the points that I see on the proof. And then slowly installing it. Um, I'm just going to put this up real quick. And then start to put it on. Before I start installing this. Um, I'm just going to throw up a photo of the proof real quick, just so y'all can see what I'm working with. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Um, yeah, so I have it basically on all the points that I need to, on the door handle area, on the fender, on the side skirt, um, and on the bumper as well. Basically, same thing I did on that. I'm just going to tape it off, start, cut it, and then work my way. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just placed in the same area. Let's get to it. Got this side installed, looks pretty baller. Got this side set up, and I'm gonna install it. So, 
What up, guys? So last night I did a little bit of delivery, and then I just decided not to film it. I don't know why. Uh, so you guys probably saw the time lapse and finish off with this. And then on this side, I applied this this side here. So I'm like, I don't even know, quarter of the way done. But right now I have a customer's car here that I wide bodied. Um, I'm just cutting out the fenders really quick. Um, and then on this side, I'm just making a bit more space for some clearance on the frame rail. Cause he's going to the lower bags. So I got to cut out the frame rail a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to the livery um, after this. So I'm gonna get to cutting on this. See y'all in a little bit. So I got the wide body on this Veloster for a customer. Pretty clean, pretty easy. So that's all done. Now it's back to my car. I'm gonna do this red decal on the driver's side and then go from there. Um, I really don't have much to do, so let's get cooking. I got this laid out real quick. Um, I'm gonna show a half pull it. I'm gonna pull it to here and then just start squeezing it that way because it's kind of like wrinkled right here, so gotta work around that. But I'm not gonna time lapse this one, I'm just gonna get to it. I'll show y'all when it's done. Lighter. Slowly but surely, you just gotta pull it down. I'll work with that in a second. All right, we're done. So, next piece is right. Just like that. Done. So, that's basically the bottom base layer for the driver's side. Um, there's chrome and then there's uh, company stickers that go on over. So I'm gonna put this one on the other side as well and then get to chrome. I'm trying to put down the chrome pieces now. I'm just kind of putting them where they belong. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start installing them. I'm just gonna take a little time lapse. I'm not really gonna post much, but uh, yeah, this is about to look way baller in a second. <laughs> So I got all the chrome done on the driver's side. I'm now working on the hood. I just got those laid and those pieces laid. Um, so I'm just doing the hood and then I got passenger side and a few extra things and then I can put on the logos. A little update so far. Hood's done. Got all that done. This side, some chrome there. About to do this bottom piece and the top pieces. And then I don't know what else, what other chrome I have to put on. I have a bunch of extra pieces, so I'll figure out where I want to put them. But then it's literally just main stickers. And the livery's done. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. But uh, the hood looks crazy. The whole side. Damn, dog. It looks sick. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, I just got a new little mic. And I know I didn't show you guys really, like, a lot of the install for the livery but i did it all and it looks baller so um i'm gonna actually eventually post like a little um like edit you would call it i guess car edit something reveal i don't know but uh i'll just show you guys most of it give you a little walk around right now because i didn't really do much while installing so here it is so on the passenger side we have a flipped tribal livery this is why it's all backwards on this side but on the driver's side, it's all one way. Got the chrome on there. Pretty tight. I don't know, I really like the chrome. Pops in the sun. Looks really good. Some of like the up close artwork. chrome the hood's honestly my favorite part though it just looks like this angle here Woo! that thing is spicy honestly though i don't really have like much to show you guys um i mean it's not really it's not really anything like too crazy it's out there it's bright but 
it's exactly what I wanted. And thank you to Andre uh, over at Triple Style for designing and printing. Um, I installed, super easy. But um, yeah, if you guys ever want a livery, hit up my guy Andre, or you can hit up me, um, and I can get it printed and installed for you. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope you guys like it. I got a few things I need to do to it. Uh, I got to get a hard top, switch the wheels, and then, um, yeah, start drifting it. I got dyno on Friday, so we'll see what it makes. I'm shooting for like 350, 350 wheel horsepower on like 15 PSI, so we'll see what's up. Um, but I'm just going to add some B-roll for you guys, and I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Hope you all have a good one. Later. Thank you.